Hi, welcome to Bismaster. Today I'm going to bring another important lesson to you. Also, you must have a clever idea about this. For do this exercise, don't forget to download the images from the copyright free websites to do your practical works. All right, let's go to today practical. Today we are going to learn so about the tree size. Open your Photoshop. So then and go to open and select whatever photos you want to resize or print or whatever you are you are going to use so i'm going to select this image and i'll open it okay now you can separate this image from the canvas give it like this and you can drag it into little middle so and now you can see the normal zoom level it is 100 percent at this time okay already selected zoom tool Otherwise, if it's not selected, if you are in somewhere, some other with some other tools, you can direct go to the zoom tool and you can select. Now you can see the properties according to this zoom tool. See the properties. Actual pixels of the size on the screen, but keep in your mind, it is not the print size. Print size is different than the actual pixel size. You can check the image in here like this. You select actual pixels showing like this. If you go to the fit screen, oh, see what happened to your for the fill screen it's very big it's very large if you go to the print size see what happened now this image i will select print size this is the actual print size of your image but still we don't know what is the print size to find that first you duplicate the image otherwise you will lost original image once you resize the image you can go to image and in here duplicate and there's a many ways to duplicate you can duplicate from here also so if you drag and drop into here you can duplicate that way also okay now so i'm going to give the name for that one i'm going to so i want to make a little small this image for that so i'll type size is small okay then hit okay now you have two images in here size is small and you are normal image so i'm going to work with this image drag to canvas now we are going to check this image size for that go to image and image size now we got one dialog box you can drag and keep somewhere you want in here you get Pixels dimensions and document size. Pixels dimension is pixels of your image. This is the actual pixel size of the image. Also, this is the screen display size. Document size is the printing size. Whatever printing size, you can change width and height for the print. So, example. In here, width is 12 and height is 8. I won't make it little smaller. So what I'm going to do, I can type if I want in here. Otherwise, mouse point to here and I will drag to left side like that. So I'm going to like around 8. Okay. This is the, for the example. This is the size. Now I want to print. So for the printing, it's much better to keep resolution is 300 pixels this is 300 this is good for print if you are going to keep for the web if you are going to use for the web you can keep resolution is 72 but now we are going to print because of that we will change our resolution is 300 when you are changing this resolutions pixels dimension is change according to the resolutions but it is not the print size print size is doesn't change so and here inches centimeters like that whatever you are familiar with the units you can use that if you want you can use centimeter or inches whatever you want to use so in here if you're going to change this document size pixel dimension also changing but resolution is not changed now we have 21 centimeters we can check it how many inches still is eight something when you're working with image make sure select the scale style now we are with the inches if you select these scale styles when you changing 
your height or width when you're changing one so other one will change automatically let's see so i'm going to change for centimeter see what happened another one it's changed see when you work in image size make sure you select the scale style constraint properties also the resample image this three reason on it when you change width and height will change automatically and pixels dimension also why it change like that because of you selected constraint proportion also when you selecting one of side scale other scales also change automatically according to that what's the reason for that because you had selected a scale style in here this one now you want to get a smooth image you can select from this list now it is default the cubic automatic we have to change this from here cubic shaper best for reduction you change cubic shaper best for reductions now hit the ok now see what happened very big image with the actual pixels since zoom level is 100 it is too large okay then select check with the fit screen fill screen again big now check with the print size what's going on with your print size see what happened. this is the actual print size of your image if you want to check it again you can go to image and image size see 8 inch and 5 inch this is the your image size you are going to print now you have idea about the image resizing so i'm going to another example so a little more for that what i'm going to do i'm going to close this okay and i don't want to save and i'm going to close and i'm going to close this window also and go to file again and open this time i'm going to open this image hit on you can make it separate from your canvas and in here already selected zoom tool see the properties of this image how it is actual pixels is like like that fit on the screen it's like this fill screen like that so what was the print size of this image select the print size oh <laughs> it's too small your print size is too small now we can check what is your print size now you know how to check it your image and image size this is the property of your image see why it's showing actual pixels with screen full screen with the very large image because of the pixels dimension is very high resolutions also 300 but your document size your document size is very small with this three and height is two inches that's why it's showing very smaller in here for that so i want to increase i want to make it a little big document size as i said before you can bring mouse point into here and make sure these things is selected then you can drag this time to right side like this i keep like eight okay now you can see the pixel dimensions is very high resolution the same 300 and i change in here in this time i have to change here cubic default from here i'm going to change cubic smoother best for the enlargement this one cubic smoother best for enlargement now you can get best print out from this image and hit ok all right okay now you check with the this properties again what happened to this image what is actual pixels it's very big fit on screen also big and fill screen it's like that what is the reason because this image pixels is very high and you go to your print size what happened right now yeah now this is your print size if you print this image this is the size of your image now you can go to image and image size you can check the what is the dimensions of this image see here document size with this 8 inches and height is 5 okay and resolution is 300 the cell dimensions is like that you can select this one and okay if you want to print this you can save it you can go to save now it's saving for the photoshop format and if you want to J jpeg or whatever go to save as from here jpg or many formats are there whatever you want to select you can select it and you can save you are going to select jpeg and save image okay and replace this one 
and image quality from here image quality we can select maximum or medium i'm going to give maximum because of the print hit okay this is the today lesson and you have to do more practice because you must know very well about these things how to resize the image and do the practice more and more to become expert designer thank you for watching don't forget subscribe like and share with others to enhance them design knowledge also